In today's video, I wanted to share a resource that'll shed some light about build settings in Xcode. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below and let's talk about some build settings. So first and foremost, if you have a project, I've got the Rick and Morty app project open that we've been working on on this channel. You can head on over to the top uh, most file here is kind of your project and then select any target we just have one here and at the top we have a build settings tab when you open this up it's kind of scary frankly it's pretty scary there's a lot of stuff in here and i don't know about you guys but it's hard to know what all this stuff is now admittedly over the years you tend to learn what some of the things in here are you tend to break enough things where you kind of have to learn you tend to override stuff etc etc but it's hard to really know what all this stuff even does so enter today's resource that I wanted to share, xcodebuildsettings.com. So it's kind of self-explanatory as to what it is. I'm surprised I never came across this earlier. Perhaps it's new, but what they do here is awesome. So they have every single build setting and they have a nice description as well as the type for it. Uh, you might know that even like info p lists, this is basically just a gigantic property list file under the hood that you can uh, use Xcode to specify uh, particular values for. You can also use xcconfig uh, keys and values. But in here, you can come in here and take a look at like, okay, what is active build action, right? And on the left, you have categories. And at the top right, you also have a search. So let's do an example. I'm gonna search for pre-compiled, and you'll see here that it comes across seven results for some setting with the word pre-compiled in it. So here we have pre-compiled header uses files from build directory. It gives you a nice blurb about what it is. I believe this is lifted directly from Apple's documentation, but um, I have not confirmed that, but I have gone through several of these and they're spot on. Uh, I have no idea who maintains this, but kudos to whoever does and keeps updating it. It's honestly really great. Um, on the left here, you also have categorical uh, separation of these settings. So on the left, we have Clang, um, Swift, you got Metal and OpenGL, General at the top, Interface Builder, Assets, Resources, Core Data, Miscellaneous. So if I click into Swift here, you'll see we'll pop down to uh, Swift related settings and then it also opens up the sub uh, kind of categories here. So there's Swift build settings and then Swift standard library uh, tool. So if we come into here, I'm gonna get some information about it. And then it also shows you the key here. So here we have kind of the human readable name, if you will, on the left and white. And on the right of it, in I guess this is like an orangish reddish color, you have the actual uh, flag or actual build settings. So if you use an XE config file or if you open up build settings in a uh, text editor, so something like Xcode's actual file preview or Atom or something like that or VS Code, you'll see these keys used. So that is kind of all I got for you guys in a nutshell today. Super useful tool. I would totally bookmark this and it's actually just quite interesting to go through here. If you have been doing iOS even for a while, there are some settings that can drastically improve several aspects of your project, be it build time, be it organizing, dependencies, CocoaPods, Carthage, Swift Package Manager, um, search paths, headers, uh, targeting deployment, libraries, dynamic libraries, frameworks, static libs, etc., etc. So thanks for watching. I've been MIA for a little bit because of some family uh, health things I've been taking care of, but I'm hoping to continue the Rick and Morty app series. Uh, actually, a new video on that today. Drop a like down below before clicking away. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Say hello in the comments for that YouTube algorithm. Appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next one.